Welcome to the City of Bakersfield Planning Commission meeting. This television broadcast is brought to you by the local cable companies, the County of Kern, and the City of Bakersfield. You can watch the rebroadcast of this meeting Saturday at 7 p.m. and Sunday at 10 a.m. The agenda for this meeting can be downloaded at www.bakersfieldcity.us. Presiding over this evening's meeting, Chair Daniel Cater. Good evening. It is my pleasure to call to order the July 21st, 2022 Planning Commission meeting. Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? Chair Cater. Here. Vice Chair Bashertash. Here. Commissioner Biddle. Commissioner Komen. I am here and I want to say I was exiled by tech support to being over here in the Neverlands. And I want to say hello to Mr. Johnson, who I know is probably logging in to watch our meeting today. So for Director Johnson. Commissioner Lomas. Here. Commissioner Neal. Here. Commissioner Wade. Here. Here. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you for attending tonight's Planning Commission meeting. This commission provides an opportunity for public participation in the development process throughout the city of Bakersfield. The Planning Commission considers a wide variety of projects, including subdivision maps, zone changes, general plan amendments, and much more. When the applications are received, the city planning division analyzes the request. Planning staff will present the facts about the project along with their recommendation to the Planning Commission who will approve an item or make a recommendation as appropriate. Madam Clerk, next item, please. Agenda item three, public statements. A, agenda item, public statements. Um, oh, sure. Um, it is now time for public statements. Does anyone in the audience wish to address the commission regarding items listed on tonight's agenda? Please note if you are here for non-consent public hearing item 6A, this is not the time to speak. You will be given an opportunity to speak when that item is called uh, later in the meeting. Seeing no speakers on, um, on agenda items in section five, um, I will also note Commissioner Biddle has uh, arrived. Um, we will now move on to non-agenda public statements. Does anyone in the audience wish to address the commission regarding items not listed on tonight's agenda? If so, please come forward, state your name, and proceed. Seeing none, Madam Clerk, next item, please. Agenda item 3C, Certificate of Appreciation for Anthony Hawkes. Oh. Chair Cater, Good Vice Chair Bastard Tass. It's absolute pleasure to be here this evening. Um, the reason for uh, my presence is to acknowledge a particular employee. You know, in my, my time of service as a public servant, I, I must say that I've never been more impressed with the quality of staff that the city of Bakersfield um, is able to enjoy on a daily basis. I have I've never seen, as an example, um, I recently saw a, an employee with 40 years of service to the city retire. And I do not know of any other individual who had such dedication and conscientious, conscientious work, at, work ethic um, in all my years. Tonight, I'd like to present to Mr. Yaquez a 15-year pin of service. Um, you know, I should be so lucky as to have spent 15 years in any one of the municipalities that I've entertained over the course of my career. So I know what an accomplishment it is to, um, to spend 15 years in one place. And with that, I'd like to present Tony a certificate of appreciation for 15 years of loyal and conscientious service. Thank you. 
Thank you. And thank you, Mr. Yaquez, for your service. It's been great work. Yeah. All right, um, we'll move on to uh, item four, consent calendar items. All matters listed under consent items do not require a public hearing and will be enacted in a single motion. There will be no separate discussion on said item unless staff or commissioner request specific items to be discussed and or removed for separate action. May I get a motion to adopt a uh, motion approving the consent item 4A? I make a motion. Commissioner Neal, may I have a second? I'll second. Commissioner Bashertash. Commissioners, please cast your votes. My screen is stuck. You might have to be exiled with Commissioner Komen. Yeah. We're, we're running out of uh, far out seats. Yeah. Um, could we do a roll call vote? Yes, thank you. Chair Cater? Yes. Vice Chair Bashertash? Yes. Commissioner Wade? Yes. Commissioner Neal? Yes. Commissioner Lomas? I will abstain since I didn't attend that meeting. Commissioner Biddle? Yes. Commissioner Komen? Yes. Motion is approved with Commissioner Lomas abstaining. Thank you. Madam Clerk, next item, please. Agenda item five, consent public hearings. Now is the time for consent public hearings. Uh, hearing items. The, if the item is not removed by a commissioner, staff, or member of the public, the commission will vote on all items in a single motion without further comment. If an item is removed, it will be placed at the end of the non-consent public hearing items. Uh, um, at this time, I will open all of the consent public hearing items and note that I have a conflict on item 5D based on source of income and will be abstaining from voting. Um, with that in mind, does any member of the public wish to remove an, a consent public hearing item for consideration? Seeing no speakers, uh, does any commissioner or staff wish to remove a consent public hearing item? Yes, oh. Chair Cater, if I may, I just want to clarify for the record that there was a memo for item 5A that was distributed to you prior to this meeting um, and is available at your seat as well. Thank you. Um, I will just give one more opportunity. Any commissioners wishing to remove a consent public hearing item? Seeing none, at this time, the consent public hearing items 5A through 5E um, the public hearing are now closed. Um, may I get a motion to adopt staff's recommendation on consent calendar public hearing items, um, approving 5A, 5C, 5D, with 5B and E being referred back to staff, and myself abstaining from 5D. And I will not make you repeat all of that, I don't think. Yeah. I'll make a motion. Thank you, Commissioner Biddle. May I have a second? A second. Commissioner Bashertash. Commissioners, please cast your votes. Did you have a oh. oh uh, let's try a roll call again, please. Chair Cater? Yes. Vice Chair Bashertash? Yes. Commissioner Wade? Yes. Commissioner Neal? Yes. Commissioner Lomas? Yes. Uh, Commissioner Biddle? Yes. Commissioner Komen? Yes. Motion is approved with, com with Chair Cater abstaining for 5D. Thank you. Madam Clerk, next item, please. Agenda item number six, non-consent public hearings. Now is the time for non-consent public hearing items. Before we begin, I'd like to explain how each hearing will be conducted. Staff will first give a report, then those in favor of the project will be allowed to speak. 
those in opposition to the project will be given, will be able to speak after all of those in favor have spoken. Each side will be provided a five minute period to provide rebuttal comments. Individual speakers may ask questions during their statements, but the questions will not be answered until the public hearing on that item is closed. Written comments may be given to the clerk who will provide copies to the commission. Please be respectful of others participating in the process by not repeating the remarks of previous speakers and presenting any new comments or thoughts in a concise and clear way. Mr. Boyle, will you please provide us your staff report? Thank you, Chair Cater. I'm going to have Ms. Gale present, make this presentation as it relates to specific plan amendment 22-0086. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Boyle. Thank you, Chair Cater. Good evening, everybody, members of the commission, members of the public, those watching at home. It is not every day that I have the pleasure to sit up here, so I will introduce myself. I am Cassandra Gale, Principal Planner in Development Services. Item 6A, as Boyle mentioned, was specific plan amendment 22-0086. And we go. This request is a proposal to amend the West Ming specific plan to adjust the circulation, land use, and zoning to accommodate changes to the village center district design and to resolve some split zoning issues in the special zone district. As a refresher, the West Ming specific plan was originally approved in 2007 to govern the planning of roughly 2,000 acres in the southwest Bakersfield. Uh, it's a master planned community that includes zoning and development standards for a variety of land uses and over 50 acres of parks, trails, and recreation open space. The item before you tonight largely revolves around adjustments to the circulation element. Mainly a portion of the future white lane arterial would be replaced with a town center coupler within the village center district, as shown on the slide here in the red oval. Surrounding circulation and trails would also be adjusted to accommodate the new design. Some examples of the coupler design are shown here and would allow for increased walkability, safe bike lanes, and increased connectivity throughout the plan area. The coupler is designed in a way that promotes traffic calming while also allowing for adequate traffic flow. Ultimately, the new circulation pattern would provide adjustments that allow for increased connectivity between trails, bike paths, and recreational opportunities within and surrounding the village center district. By incorporating this design into the circulation element, the surrounding land use and zoning designations in the village center would also be adjusted accordingly as part of this amendment. In the southeast corner of the plan area is where the split zoning cleanup would occur. All public noticing requirements and California Environmental Quality Act requirements were followed according to state law. No comments have been received regarding this project. Uh, based on the foregoing, staff recommend your commission adopt the resolutions adopting the CEQA addendum to the West Ming Specific Plan EIR and approving the specific, specific plan amendment and recommending the same to City Council. That concludes staff's presentation. City staff and the applicant's team are present for questions. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Gale. The public hearing is now open. Is there anyone who wishes to speak in favor of the project? If so, please step to the microphone, identify yourself, and proceed. Thank you, Commissioner Cater, Vice Chair Master Tash, not Commissioner, I apologize. Um, we would, uh, my name is Bruce Davis, I'm the Executive Vice President of Bolt House Properties, we're the uh, developer of this project. I would like to thank uh, the planner, uh, Cassandra Miss Gale, for her efforts. And we're here to answer any questions. We support the conclusions. Thank you. Is there any other member of the audience wishing to speak in favor of the project? If so, please step to the microphone, identify yourself, and proceed. Seeing no additional speakers in favor, is there, any, is there anyone who wishes to speak in opposition to the project? If so, please step to the microphone, identify yourself, and proceed. Seeing no speakers in opposition, does any commissioner have any questions for the public on this item? 
Remember, this is not a time to express any opinions on the matter, only to ask questions. Seeing no commissioner questions, and as there were no speakers in opposition, um, we will forego the rebuttal period, and I will close the public hearing and move to commissioner comments and action. Are there any commissioner comments? Commissioner Coleman. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> This project uh, kind of predates me, so I, I was uh, happy to have a chance to review this specific plan. And I, I, I just gotta say, this is the kind of thing that, you know, the, the, the city really needs to be doing. And so uh, we're very fortunate that we have a, a developer, uh, you know, willing to go through the extra steps to be able to do this specific plan. I think if we, if anything, we just need to find a way to make those things easier for developers to, to do these specific plans. But uh, overall, I, I really like this project. I like the walkability of this project. Uh, uh, some of the stuff I hadn't looked at before and I was really, uh, really very impressed by. And so I wanna thank the developer for uh, bringing this to our attention and uh, uh, I'll be happy to support this project. Thank you, Commissioner Coleman. Are there any other uh, commissioners wishing to speak? Seeing no additional speakers, uh, may I get a motion? Yeah. I'd like to make an motion to approve item 6A and accept all staff recommendations for approval. Thank you, Commissioner Coleman. May I have a second? I'll second that. Thank you, Commissioner Biddle. Uh, let's do a roll call vote. Chair Cater? Yes. Vice Chair Bashertash? Yes. Commissioner Wade? Yes. Commissioner Neal? Enthusiastic, yes. Commissioner Lomas? Yes. Commissioner Biddle? Yes. Commissioner Coleman? Yes. Mo motion is approved unanimously. Thank you. Madam Clerk, next item, please. Agenda item number seven, communications. Does staff have any commu communication items? I do, thank you, Chair Cater. I just wanted to note, as of today, there will be a regularly scheduled August 4th meeting. Director Johnson will be back to enjoy that time with you guys. Thank you for tonight. Thank you, and thank you for joining us tonight and for your presentation. Madam Clerk, next item, please. Agenda item number eight, commission comments. Does any commissioner have any comments? Seeing no commissioner comments, Madam Clerk, next item, please. Agenda item number nine, adjournment. This meeting is adjourned at 548. Have a great evening. <laughs>